Next, rail commuters who buy tickets from self-service machines could be paying more than double for their journey. It's often the preferred choice for customers who want to avoid busy queues. But many are unaware that they could pay less for their journey at the ticket office or save up to £100 by using a different machine. Here's Alex Bushell. Overcrowded trains, cancelled services, high ticket prices. Now commuters can add another complaint to their list. Passenger groups complain that rail users are paying wildly different amounts of money to travel to the same destination. They say it depends on which ticket machine you use. Well, we're here at King's Cross to find out just how much prices can vary. Most of the ticket machines here are like this. It's run by East Line Mainline. Choose a first-class ticket to Liverpool Central and the cost is £229.50. Now, on the other side of the station, and these machines are run by Great Northern. Choose the same destination and this time you're given a choice to use a Midland-only service and the cost drops by more than half to just £94. The same is true of standard tickets to Liverpool, more than twice as expensive at one machine than the other. But surely if someone wants the cheapest price possible, they'll book online, do the research. That's not a view passengers here share. They think this is a ticket machine lottery. I think that's quite shocking that customers aren't told about where they can get the best deal from rail companies. Well, it doesn't seem fair to me at all. And I know it's cheaper to buy them online in advance, but there are still some people who can't do that. One of them is trying to pull a fast one, I think, and trying to get away with it a bit like if it's um, maybe double the price. Passenger groups agree. They point to how there are 120 million fare combinations available on our rail network. They say the current system is fiendishly complicated and change is needed. A simpler fare structure, so it, we don't have to all have a degree in ticketing to actually understand how to get the best ticket. Um, more consistent use of a similar sort of machine, so we're more confident, we're more familiar with the sorts of machines that can be used, so at least we feel we know how to use the machine. As for the train companies, East Coast say their vending machines are not designed to offer every ticket combination, just the most common. And there is always a manned ticket office available. Tonight, though, the rail regulator confirmed they are now looking to introduce a code of practice to establish the sort of consistency across the board commuters here are calling for. Alex Bushell, BBC London News. A dog owner.